Hey Turtle fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing, and this time it is of NECA Toys, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shred Mondo, Shred, that is Mondo Gecko. Um, I've had this figure for a while. Right now there is the Summer Geek Out going on, um, which is reissuing some of the Holothon figures, and there's some new Mirage Turtles that are out. Um, I've been uh, enjoying picking some of that up, and going through my backlog and on op and opening other tur turtles because um, it's just so much fun. Like I, I love uh, opening these turtles. I was waiting for a good time to get around to them when I was in the mood and since everybody's hyped on the turtles, I jumped on and uh, decided to, to do a little unboxing. So um, this was a cool figure. Let's see what we got in here. On the side it says Shred Mondo Shred. Uh, it's got fun box. It says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's just yellow all over looks great um on the bottom got all of the people who worked on it and a uh, a pick on the back to, of uh mondo talking to kerma and looks like some of the fun uh, accessories that are in here uh what i do like about the single release figures is that they have um a like a blurb a bio on the back that at least tells you um, what that is uh, a little information a little background on the figure which I wish that the two packs had but you know uh, beggars can't be choosers I guess you know like take what you can get so let's see um, says pluck from the sewers by the male malevolent Mr. X Mondo Gecko only knew a life of crime that was until the gnarly skateboarder met his long lost sewer mate Michelangelo Mondo and Mikey soon re realized they were born to be best buds and teamed up to thwart Mr. X's villainous venture. So, I haven't watched that episode recently, so I'm, I have to go back and watch it because I don't remember Mr. X at all. Um, then, for Kerma, we got hailing from the distant planet of the Turtleoids. Kerma was not your typical Terrapin. A scantity, uh, a scantity, his beloved utopian city of Shell Rila was terrorized by a treacherous Herman the Horrible Man. Uh, Kerma searched the gal galaxy for a savior. Surmising an earthling could protect his peace-loving people, Kerma brought Ground Chuck, Dirtbag, and the Turtles back to his home world to defeat the devious double-headed dragon. Wow, there was a lot to unpack in that last uh, statement. So, um, wow. So anyways, let's pop it open. You can see he's, the, he's got a very cool action shot of... Uh, Mondo Gecko holding the skateboard, and then you can see uh, Mondo and Kerma inside of this pack, which is pretty cool because uh, it's not really a two pack, but it uh, it's got two characters in there, so uh, I'm really digging that. Um, looks like there's some some fun accessories, so let's just go ahead and pop it open and see what's in there. Um, but yeah, I love a good two pack. Uh, um, you know. Bonus surprise two pack? Why not? Let's see. Where is their tape? It's like I'm not seeing any here. But okay. Is that the only tape there? Let's see. Apparently. Okay. Let's pop them open. This guy, uh, he was on the shelves at my um at my target for a very long time. I remember picking them up and then seeing them just just sitting around so i don't know if uh what was going on with that um i don't know if there was some qc with this figure or what but um or they overproduced them but i'm happy to have a, a copy of my own let's uh let's pop him out and see what uh he has to offer he's got some very uh <laughs> he's got some very radical 90s colors um he's, he's very eye-catching uh to me uh growing up during this time in the, uh, the 80s and 90s these uh these fun <laughs> these, these fun neon colors are uh, really eye catching to me but um that's really cool he he's just so colorful he looks just like a cartoon um looks like he's got a, a peg coming on his butt for uh, his tail oh yeah man check that out he's got a rat tail a ponytail going on and um backwards 
backwards hat. Got some hair coming out the coming out the front. Um, I like his upside down slash, uh, not not Nike swoosh and a lightning bolt. Very cool. Um, red gloves. Look at his kicks, man. He's, he was he was doing it, man. Look at all this. He's got a, a spike, uh, like a nail on one knee and a a, a skull on the other. Um, look at the detail. Even even his ankles have a little bit of paint on them. So that's really uh, really cool. These uh, these are NECA figures, so I treat them with a little bit of care if I can, because I don't want to break anything if I don't have to. Um, feels like he's got some sort of torso going on there, like they're maybe there. It's just that's where he's connected at. He's not really moving forward. Um, I don't know if he's got. I guess he does have double jointed elbows. Um, just hidden pins you can uh it's pinless basically but yeah he's got a double jointed elbow he's got double jointed knees looks like it man and the knees see i don't want to get too crazy but they put like the knee pad in between there and it's looking good um but i think He's going to be on his skateboard anyway, so let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Let's pop his tail on if that fits. Sometimes uh, that could be you know, an issue when it comes with these, um, when you have to attach like a big peg, a ball, a ball joint on uh, to um, these NECA figures, especially if it's just been cold words like my my basement's not the warmest so um sometimes it's just not gonna move and it might need to be heated up but anyways before i pop this out comes with his tail looks like an alt uh set of hands and looks like uh a a laser gun of some sort which is cool i don't remember him having a gun but whoa that thing just flew all right if I can find it, here it goes. Um, all kinds of uh, little little detail on the gun. It's got like a knob, which is pretty cool. Let's see if I can get this tail out now. Um, I'm not liking my chances of popping this in, to be honest. So let's uh, let's see. It's looking like yeah, it's looking like the ball is much bigger. In the hole, so I'm gonna. I am going to heat that up before I do it. I'm just not gonna. I am not gonna fight this NECA toy. Um, these things are usually too, too tight, and I will break it. I'm gonna give it just a, a little bit. Oh, it's it's actually going. Um, and it doesn't feel like it's going to. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I stand corrected. That, that did fit in, didn't break. I felt like uh, there was a little bit of sturdiness when I was going, but but be careful, man. Don't don't take my word for it. Like, um, if you feel like it's not going to go in, just heat it up. Throw it in a hot some hot water. Do uh, it takes a couple seconds. Um, let's uh, let's see what else we got in here. Skateboard. Let's see if this is on some rolling wheels or if. It's just oh it is that's very cool it's got some real wheels this one is gonna be a hit when my daughter sees it for sure so Mondo he's got his open hands and I don't know maybe they should put two pegs on there but let's see He's going. <laughs> How fun is that? Yeah, that's a pretty pretty well balanced uh, gecko. So a lot of fun there. Um, let's see the full size uh, accessory sidekick character. We got Kerma here, who apparently ironed some turtles to to help him. 
Um, how articulate is articulated is this character? Um, doesn't look like. I don't think the legs move. I'm not 100 sure, but I'm not seeing anything in there. That's looking like articulation, but the arms do. That's cool. And it's got a great looking face. Look at it. It looks like an old turtle. It's got a hood. That's that's uh, really cool. I don't know if uh, it's got magic or science or what, but um, good looking, good looking um, sidekick. Oh, it's got a time machine or something. Let's pop that out. Lots of uh, lots of great stuff. Oh, almost almost clipped one of the plastic wires that wasn't holding them in, but actually just molded on there. But yeah, I don't know if this is a uh, time machine or flux capacitor what we're what we're doing here but looks like you can hold it on the side of the box anyway so yeah that's okay oh there it goes and well, maybe later <laughs> get that later um oh gecko's got a uh, he's got a sack of cash for from his life of crime so that's uh that's pretty sweet cool accessory he's got a, he's got a laser gun and a sack of cash and guessing this is his pre-mutated self just a just a regular gecko cartoony Let's see if we can looks good and one more thing not sure what this is it looks oh it looks like a um, like it's a some sort of wristband I don't know if this is for time travel or what but that's what it kind of looks like um, it's not really on anything I wonder if it fits on his tail <laughs> it does but I'm betting it's for his arm one of them anyways let's see but yeah I don't know um, if I can get this off, maybe. Okay, and then, yep, you just slide that on the elbow there, and then we grab one of these hands, pop it in, hopefully not break anything. Been lucky so far that the tail didn't snap when I, when I put it on. There it goes. Got a little, a little flake that came off of, uh, off of the paint there. So be careful. And not only that, let's see if we can fit the gun in. We can. Oh man. And is his mouth articulated? Oh, a little bit. He's got articulated jaw. This uh. <laughs> It's a radical, right? <laughs> Gnarly. Awesome. Just anything. Cowbunga, right? All of the all of the above. This this is looking this is just looking awesome. So if the uh the bounty hunter, there was an episode where Dirk Savage uh basically captured them. They were using uh they were using Mondo as a um as a decoy to be captured so they could um find out where Dirk was keeping the turtles so you can have that bit of crossover or maybe he can interact with Mona Lisa uh, these are some other figures that I picked up from the uh, the summer geek out you know <laughs> the the exploitation of adult men that want to give uh, toy companies money so uh, that's me uh, regardless this looks awesome I didn't even notice like just the how over the top this skateboard was i was just so excited that it had wheels that worked that i didn't even notice that it has like some exhaust on the back that this thing is really moving so anyways he's wall riding and doing it up it's a big that is a big uh freaking what do you call it skateboard i guess we can grab mikey real quick just to see um the scale between him and mikey um yeah, I you know what um, this figure was just sitting on, just not on my shelf, but just in my pile of unopened toys, and um, I really didn't think much of them 
it was just one extra that I was like, oh, new release, I'll pick him up. But this is a lot of fun. This guy is awesome. So, anyways, and he's a bit thinner than the turtles, but it makes sense. And he's he's really he's really got some size to him with uh, with the skateboard and having a fun little dude as a sidekick. That's that's really cool. See, I really appreciate when you have a, um, a release like this, like a single uh, carded figure, and he's not the biggest dude, but they packed it with so much extra stuff. So much stuff that I lost an accessory on my floor. I'm going to have to find it now after this, but like, he's got, he's got a, a working... They didn't have to make it rolling, honestly. they could. We would all would have been uh, happy if it was just a, st a non-rolling skateboard. You know, it would have been like, okay, you know, like looks good doesn't roll oh well but um working action feature is is a lot of fun he comes with a vehicle comes with his own vehicle that's uh that's awesome and a rat tail so <laughs> all you could want for your uh 90s um retro fun um this is awesome uh, i don't think i had mondo gecko as a kid i remember the character um this is funny growing up my i had a female cousin who um was in the turtles as well same age as me and she had like all the figures i didn't have so uh i'd go play with her stuff so i know i played with this guy before i just don't think i owned him i remember i do remember have uh playing with him though so uh she uh my cousin tony must have owned him growing up but regardless thanks for watching like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think of mondo gecko the holothon how much of it have you got uh or what is it the summer geek out and um i'm i'm excited uh, my Mirage Turtles should be uh, uh, in the mail unless the, the order gets canceled. You never know what Target. So I won't I won't say anything until they get here. Um, but until then, I'll be playing with uh, with Mondo and enjoying that because he's a he's a fun fun turtle. Maybe I'll have uh, or not fun gecko. Maybe I'll have uh, Dirk Savage uh, just you know bounty hunt him. Um, or maybe I'll have to save Mona Lisa from from Dirk. So regardless. Or, or maybe uh, you'll get in a street fight with uh, Ryu because Ryu doesn't like uh, mutants, maybe. I don't know. I mean, he's friends with Black Eye, I think. So, who knows? Regardless, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.